As you can see, Bob is also a first class Magna Rail magician, but being the secretary of the Dubbo Model Railroad Club meant that he's put a lot of effort into this project, uh, been in fairly constant contact with me, and has basically been the creator of uh, the Magna Rail's integration into their very big layout. So congratulations to Bob on that. As you can see from their uh, videos that, that Bob has sent me over a period of time, that they did a lot of testing, a lot of test tracks, uh, trying out vehicles, seeing how they went, and uh, through that trial and error that they finally got to the uh, finished product that you'll see later on. Quite an extensive roadway, over seven metres long, uh, but as you also can see, it's been made to take die, die cast and uh, plastic vehicles. The club has some great modellers and the township uh, site uh, with its garage and its hardware area, drive-in theatre down the end, uh, which has a live uh, film going on club days, but also their vehicle depots and uh, other industrial areas are really well done. Uh, the, from the cyclone fence um, to the petrol station. So it's really a treat uh, to see this layout in action. The Magna Rail system uh, is fairly straightforward. Uh, it goes along the, the front of the, the layout, uh, it comes around the back and, and then goes behind the scene and behind the, uh, sorry, the drive-in theatre and then comes out again. The number of die-cast vehicles um, seems to be up around the 15 mark that they've been able to get on uh, this operation. But one of the big features at this end uh, is the painted silos. And the silos have become a real feature in Australia because they're just huge landmarks. Uh, you can see them from miles around. But they've done these beautiful murals uh, in small towns and it's really brought a, a big tourist trade to what were uh, very, very quiet um, towns. So if you get a chance to, to come to Victoria, or I suppose they're anywhere in Australia now, uh, you'll find that the silos have a story about the town or individuals from the town or what the, the region sort of promotes. So they've done a great job. But the thing with the tower, uh, the silo, sorry, is that they do hide the turning circle. And this is part of what I get through to people, that if you're going to do Magna Rail, you've got to create the magic. So you don't have it all out there for everyone to see the cars doing sharp turns and, and what have you. Try to hide some of the mechanisms, some of the, the needed areas uh, in terms of turning and uh, yeah, just, just be careful with that and try to keep the magic. But now for the real magic. And people often ask, oh, how much can you put on a a Magna Rail set. Well, it's all relative to the weight of the vehicle, the free movement of the wheels, but also how many motors you've, you've got. If it's not pulling enough, you put an extra motor in. If you want to have really heavy stuff, up to O gauge, you've just got to make sure the physics allow you to do this. But now watch for how these guys have got their trucks going and uh, you'll be blown away. I'll let you listen to the rest of this uninterrupted or watching uninterrupted. Have fun uh, and if you have a chance go to their website and look at their the rest of their layout. It is fantastic. Thanks for watching.
If you have a Magna Rail layout and you think you're worthy of the title of Magna Rail Magician, there's an application form on our website. Send it in and uh, we'll judge what level you'll be brought into the system at. But uh, give it a go and you'll get a feature on our channel uh, in our Magician section. Thank you for watching. Bye.